What is up guys and welcome to yet another video. Now, if you saw my last video on some of my favorite productivity apps in 2020, you're probably well aware of the fact that I'm a huge Alfred advocate. I love that app because it helps me just automate a series of workflows that makes my overall experience using my computer on a daily basis a lot more seamless and stress-free. And I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite workflows with you in this video. And once again, as a quick reminder, please do click on that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you won't miss out on a video in the future and to support the channel as well. All right, first things first, I'm going to preface this guide by reminding you guys to do a couple of quick things before we get started. You wanna make sure you're actually using the version of Alfred that's available on the app website as opposed to the version on the Mac App Store. Since for whatever reason, the App Store version doesn't have all the latest features and fixes and isn't actively maintained by the developer. Just a quick FYI. You also need to have the Alfred Power Pack installed, which can be done easily through the app. Now, all the workflows I'm about to feature in this video are available to download using the links right below in the description. In my case, I have all of them stored in my Alfred workflows folder right here on my desktop. Now let's go ahead and import our workflows straight into Alfred. All we need to do is double click the workflow file or simply drag and drop the files into Alfred preferences and we'll be all set to use them instantly. The Reminders workflow lets you add reminders to macOS's native Reminders app straight through Alfred. And essentially by automating this, it's quicker and easier than ever to set reminders on your Mac. With just a simple R command, you can select within the list and set a time for your reminder and quickly type in what you need while setting priorities denoted by exclamation points. One equating to low priority, two being medium and three being high. You can also make use of the R this command to link apps and files you need reminders on. And I tend to use this with my browser from time to time with let's say a tab that's open in the foreground. Once again, helping me just streamline my overall workflow. Next, we'll be setting up Spotify mini player for Alfred. Once you've imported the workflow, you'll need to head over to your Spotify account and create an app. Set your app name to Alfred, Spotify, Mini Player, or something along those lines, along with a brief description, and then click on the desktop app option. We're not developing this for commercial purposes, so we can go ahead and click on no for the next um, window. And on the following window, you can tick all the boxes and click submit. On our app settings here, we'll have our client secret and client ID, which we'll need in the following steps, so make sure to keep that in handy. Now click on edit settings and for this option, you're gonna to want to add the following reply URL that you can copy paste from the description of this video once again. Go ahead and save your settings. Now let's open up the mini player with Alfred and paste in our client ID using the spot underscore mini keyword. Now invoke the window again and paste your client secret. And finally, we're going to authenticate our login details on Spotify, and then we invoke the window one last time to create our library. You'll get a notification eventually when your library has been created, and another time once the artwork for your library has been downloaded. And that's pretty much it. You can play around with the tool and control Spotify straight from Alfred. Okay, for our next workflow, we're gonna be taking advantage of weather, and this is an interesting one primarily because Alfred actually doesn't have an innate weather function, unlike Spotlight. You get a choice of what API to use with this workflow. I believe it's between Climacell and Open Weather for some degree of customizability. All right, so let's go ahead and grab an API key from Climacell's official website. That's the service we'll be using here. And I'm a big fan of Climate Cell primarily because of the granularity of the weather data that the service provides. So we can go ahead and select developer so we don't have to pay for it. And there we go. Once we have our account set up and get access to an API key, we can go ahead and set it up 
by invoking the WTO command that allows you to set up your API key and initiate the weather workflow in Alfred. Once you've entered your service key, go ahead and select the location option and enter your zip code or city name. If you wait just a couple of seconds, you'll have your weather options set up for your own location. And the weather workflow allows you to get both hourly and daily forecasts of your location while also being able to search for the weather in any particular location as well, which is pretty neat. So just type in the WTH command on Alfred. I know, interesting choice of hotkey. And you'll be presented with a bunch of options that you can play around with. All right, if you're like me, you're probably used to sharing a ton of links and URLs between people or various digital mediums. And funnily enough, I'm probably gonna be doing just that for this video. Luckily, I can take advantage of a shortened URL workflow that, as the name suggests, allows you to shorten any URL straight through the service tiny URL. So all you need to do is type in the short command on Alfred, followed by a URL, and there you have it. A tiny URL link that can be distributed easily. Short and sweet. Now we get to the web search workflow which basically allows you to search inside some of your favorite websites straight through Alfred. This works with a ton of my favorite websites, including Reddit, Quora, Google Trends, and Goodreads. Just type in web, followed by the site you want to search within, and you'll be presented with a bunch of options straight within Alfred. Let's just test this out with Quora real quick. Cool. And now, now let's go ahead and test this with Google Trends. So yeah, once again, another super useful workflow that I'll see myself using from time to time. All right, now to finish off, here's a workflow for people who tend to talk to people from various parts of the world or just need to be able to get a quick sense of time zones. And here's where the time zones workflow would be perfect for you because with a quick shortcut, you can easily get access to the time zones you need. So just type in the TZ command on Alfred to open up your list of time zones. You can also type in time zone and you'll be presented with a number of options to customize that very list. Like let's say adding a new city. Another pretty useful workflow that might add value for a number of users. That's pretty much it guys. Hope you found this video somewhat helpful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I'll try my best to respond to all of you and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.